taking this one test, um, it kind of decides, you know, where you're going to go in life. The competition is so hard, we have to study more than we possibly can. SHSAT is a test to gain entrance into the top eight schools of New York City, right? If I don't get into a specialized high school, now I'm in my zone school, and some of where we live, we don't have um, the best schools around us. Right. So, let's go through the steps in the math section. Take three deep breaths. You must give it all you got to get into one of the big high schools, to get into one of the most achieving high schools, to be one of the most achieving people in New York. And that, that, mean, that means a lot of competing with all five boroughs. My parents, they come from Bangladesh, right? They never had the opportunity, so they want to have their education sort of through me. There's a lot of other children that want to take the SHSAT. So it's me versus all of them. I came to this country as an immigrant, I had to learn English and it was more difficult than math because math I can easily learn like formulas and easy, and other things but reading it's just so unpredictable. If there's an easy answer, it seems simple, there's a, it's called a gab, we call it a gab which, is, which stands for give me a break which means like oh that's way too easy and if it's too easy, it's too easy to be true. SHSAT schools and the families at home, Bengali is the second most common language spoken after Mandarin Chinese. I would say there's probably hundreds of programs like, like ours in the city. I think the issue is that there's probably maybe not another one in an um, African American neighborhood. This week, I got a higher score than I did ever on it. They're helping me so much here. I'm not that nervous. I have big dreams. Mm -hmm.